Why this course? Why bachelors? Why masters? After why this university, this is the biggest reason for rejection for F1 visas and also a frequently asked question. In this video, I'm going to explain how you can structure this question with certain do's and don'ts and also show you some sample answers and a question bank as well. So keep on watching. Hi guys, my name is Shachi and I'm a travel and a visa coach. On this channel, you're going to find lots of useful videos for the US visa process. We have separate playlists for F1 visa, so make sure to check all of them out. We also have tons of free downloads and resources right below in the description link, so do take a look. Now, all F1 visa interviews have some questions asked about the course in one way or the other. But when we analyzed the F1 visa interviews which happened last month, that is in April 2023, we saw an increased focus being placed by the visa officer on this category of questions why this course compared to all the previous intakes and the previous interviews which have happened. In fact, there were many interviews in which multiple questions were asked about the course. So before we jump into understanding how to structure the answers and framing our answers, let's take a look at a complete question bank for why this course category and see all the different questions that were asked in the visa interviews. So here's your question bank for why this course. Number one, which course are you going for? Number two, is it a master's or a bachelor's? Number three, what's your specialization? Number four, which subjects are you taking? Number five, how will this course help you in the future? Number six, why this course? Number seven, how many courses are you taking per semester? Number eight, what are the names of your first semester subjects? Number nine, what is the difference between X and Y? So basically, this is the technical questions that were asked. The visa officers would pick names of any two courses that you have told and ask you what is the difference between X and Y. Number 10, which subjects excites you the most? Number 11, how many semesters do you have in this course? Number 12, do you know of any capstone project that you will be doing in the course? So these 12 questions were essentially all the questions asked about why this course category in the April 2023 visa interviews. So make sure that you go through this checklist and prepare yourself. In fact, if you observe the interviews which happened in April 23, you'll also observe that why this course question has been asked not once but twice in many interviews. So the same question has been asked twice by the visa officer. So why does this happen? This happens when the first answer that you gave to the visa officer is not fully convincing or he feels that he does not have all the information required to make his decision. So he might ask you some other questions and then come back and ask you again, but why this course? So this way, he is hoping that you would give him some more information and some more convincing points which will help him to approve your visa. So now that we've understood what are the categories of questions asked for why this course, let's jump into answer structuring. We will look at certain do's and don'ts to help you frame this answer. We are starting with the don'ts. Number one, short answers. It's a huge misconception that in visa interviews, you need to speak really less and you need to give short sentence or one line answers. Now, for questions like why this course, unless you explain yourself to the visa officer, there is no way he's going to be convinced or understand your profile. So do not pressurize yourself to give short one word answers or one line answers. Why this course answer needs to be descriptive. You need to explain yourself to the visa officer and this answer should be at least three to four lines. What is required here is that you practice this really well so that when you speak, you're able to speak quickly, fluently and finish your answer before the visa officer interrupts you. The second don't, being extremely broad and generic. In this answer for why this course, if you're going to include broad and generic terms about your career goal, future plan and about the course itself, then the answer is going to sound extremely rundown, very common, which the visa officer would have heard a million times and he might not even pay attention to you while you're answering. So you need to be really careful and not to use any of these generic terms. Some of the most common ones that we come across when we interact with students are adds value to my career, will land me a good opportunity, I can work in a top MNC, I will learn what I lack, it's a continuation of my undergrad degree, I will gain skills which I'm missing, I can upgrade my skill set. So check the answer that you have framed for why this course and if your answer has any of these generic terms, cut it out right now and replace it with more specific details which we're going to get to in just a little bit. The third don't, missing details. Now details is the spice of this answer. 
So, if you are why this course answer is missing details of your course, of your work experience or academics or your future plan, then you need to include that in this answer. When the details go missing, the answer lacks the punch and lacks the convincing power. So these are the three don'ts for answering this question by this course. So make sure that you do not do this in the visa interview and to put it all together and get a better understanding, we have a sample answer for you and this sample answer will show you exactly what not to do in the visa interview. So just observe closely. Hi, good morning. So which course? MD. Any specialization? General. Why this course? It will help me get better jobs in top MNCs. But why this course now? I wanted to study this to upgrade myself. If I do an MBA, I can easily work at manager level role in top MNCs. If you're still here, still watching the video, do give this a thumbs up and comment down below and let us know which course and which university you're going for. So comment down right below and let us know the name of your course and your university. So now that we've understood the don'ts, let's get to the do's. So there are three do's that you must follow when you structure the answer for why this course and we're going to understand that. The first do is to include a specialization. The easiest hack to make your answer for why this course more specific and unique is to include a specialization within your course. Now, all courses in US do have a specialization. You need to look at the curriculum to figure this out. Your course already might have concentrations within itself and all you need to do is to pick a concentration and that becomes your specialization. Or the course might give you electives or subjects which you can choose and depending upon the subjects that you pick, you will have your specialization. So before you set out to frame the answer, make sure that you take a look at the curriculum and figure out your specialization. The second do, include details of your background, that is your academics and your work experience. So the hack to not sound generic or too broad in your interview for why this course answer is to put in some details from your background, from your past experience. These details could be from your academics, so you could include the names of the subjects or even the projects and internships you have done, or you could include relevant points from your past work experience or the current work experience. When you use all of these details to justify why you are pursuing this course, the answer becomes unique to you and the visa officer also knows that you've really thought about it and have a logical reason for studying this in the US. Third do, read about the subjects. So it's really important that you are aware of the entire curriculum that you will have to study in the US. It is not just about knowing the first semester subjects, but knowing your entire coursework. For example, let's say that your course has 30 credits consisting of 10 subjects. You should know the names of all of these 10 subjects. Of course, the subjects that you pick can change once you're in the US and once you start the curriculum. But at the point of the visa interview, you should have an idea of what are the 10 subjects you're most likely to pick. Now, when you know the details of the course, not only it helps in making the answer for why this course is more specific, but it will also help you in answering the questions which are now being asked about the course itself, such as technical questions, names of the subjects, names of the first semester subjects, and so on. So, let us put these three do's together and look at sample answer, which will explain to you how you need to answer the question why this course in the interview. So, which course are you going for? MBA with specialization in marketing and analytics. Why do you want to pursue this course? I have worked in a sales role for the last two years where I am working with data and doing basic analysis. For the next phase of my career, I want to transition from sales to marketing domain and learn about analytics. This MBA will help me get roles like marketing analyst with e-commerce companies. What are your first semester subjects? Organizational behavior marketing management and accounts. What are your most advanced subjects? Brand management, consumer behavior, data visualization, and business analytics. So I hope that the do's and don'ts and the sample answers have given you an idea of how to frame your answer for why this course. We also have a complete question bank for Paul 23 questions. So this question bank includes all the questions that are being asked, not just with respect to the course, but other categories as well. This is a free PDF. You'll find the link for this in the description box below. So make sure to check it out and get your PDF. You can also work with me for in-depth preparation. So if you want a detailed preparation for your F1 visa interview, then there are tons of options to work with me. Our most detailed program, our flagship program is the seven day course, which is an end-to-end -end preparation where we take care of understanding your profile, 
filling your DS-160 form, structuring your answer and putting you through multiple mocks. And we also have other ways in which you can work with me. We have the core package and we have single sessions, one-to-one -one and mocks as well. So the details of all of this is in the description box below. And if you would like to prepare at your own time and own pace, then we have the F1 self-preparation course. This is a video course consisting of different modules and you can watch it and prepare at your own time and pace. So I really hope that you look, take a look at all of this. And if you have any more questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. You could also DM me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is at shachi.mal. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that all of you are preparing well. And stay tuned because we have more useful content coming up. The next video on the channel will be about how to understand the American accent. So a lot of you ask us that how do I understand the accent of the visa officer or you went through an interview where you could not understand what the visa officer was saying. So the next video that we have is going to help you overcome this challenge. So make sure that you subscribe and stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. Wish all of you the very best for your upcoming visa interviews. And signing off for now, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.